morning everyone welcome back to the channel welcome to a new day it's a Tuesday morning and it's garbage day so I just took the garbage out just wanted to pop in and say hi before I get my day started and uh, well today I'll be making uh, burritos for tonight and I'll do the rump roast or the sirloin roast in the slow cooker and I think for breakfast we're just gonna have bagels I might have a cup of cappuccino with that I haven't had a cappuccino too much this winter. It hasn't really been hot enough or cold enough. Like, it's been warm in the house for the heat, but outside it really doesn't hasn't been that cold. So it just, I don't know, I just didn't have too much this winter. But I think I'll have some today. It's supposed to be like 61 degrees today. It's a little overcast right now, and it is supposed to get a little more breezier. And uh, so, yeah. Other than that, not sure how my day's going to go, so just wanted to, like I said, pop in and say hi. Hope you all enjoy your day, and thank you so much for uh, joining me in my day, and I hope you enjoy the video. So, I'm going to go back in now and make some uh, bagels, and we'll see you in a bit. Alright everyone, so time to take a walk in the backyard assess all the cleaning I got to do this spring and what I'm going to try to do is come out every day and at least do a little bit at a time so if I do that by the time we come out for the season um, I won't have to get everything done at once so and I hope you can hear me without the, without the wind muffle and the noise in the video it is a windy day, so I put the um, the foam over the camera, so hopefully blocks the wind, the wind wind noise. All right, so let's just take a walk and see what we got to do. Um, if you remember, I cut up our Christmas tree, and so I'm gonna end up taking all those down. Uh, I didn't bring anything to cut the string or anything, but. Yeah, those are going to go in the burn pit. And uh, so over here, I'm going to pull all this out and all of this. So clean up all of this before it actually starts to grow out. Looks like uh, some of it has broken off from the winds during the winter time. And I'm going to get all this in the fire pit. So all this is going to go in the fire pit. I'm going to clean up all this. And over here, so this is the back of the shed. This is the side of the house. I need to cut down this tree. And I think that's what we're going to do today. Cut down this tree and that little bit over there. And work my way to cleaning, clearing out the side of the house. That shelf right there is the neighbor's over here. So he's just putting it out there in case one of the neighbors want to come and grab it. But he'll take it out eventually. So I think today we're actually going to do this right here. cut this uh, stuff down but we'll take a walk in the backyard for you new uh, viewers and subscribers can see our backyard um, it's a half acre lot it's our burn pit right here we started burning last fall before we actually went in the house and then something happened and we had to put the fire out so Now, I don't know if you could see this. This right here. This comes off the pole right here. And I don't know if I'm pointing to the right thing here. Yeah, this. I made this a couple years ago. That's a big tree branch off our... Uh, uh, pine tree back there and I just tie wrapped it to a piece of metal up there 
and I put hooks on it to put bird feeders on um, but I haven't used it because I don't have any baffles to keep the squirrels off of it otherwise the squirrels just eat all the food up but I'll try to do something with that this summer and that pole is in the ground doesn't come out that was here when we bought the house so so yeah here's another part of the tree <laughs> All right, so this uh, big wood pile is the neighbors. And this here got damaged from the wind. Damaged from the wind or from deer trying to get up to the feeder. Uh, you could see my baffle came undone and this piece of wood came undone so I'm gonna have to fix that uh, during the summer I usually put the bird cam here so it gets a view of the trees and stuff so I gotta fix that up before I start using it again so I did this uh, I put this pole in this 4x4 four four, I put it in about two feet deep so I dug a hole put it in there what I wished I would have done was put it in like uh, cement, but I didn't. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I got to, it's another thing I got to get fixed. All right, so let's take a walk. Um, we'll go around the fence. When we go back up, I'll show you. Now this here is just a weed tree and it has grown all the way up there. A couple of summers ago, I cut down some branches that were hanging low because when I cut grass, I would always have to duck my head so I don't poke my eyes out from the branches. But I gotta clean up this area. Oh yeah, lots of work to do. And this right here, um, I gotta cut this tree down. So that one's gotta come down. A lot of branches from uh, wind damage this past fall and winter. Oh, that's what broke. So what I'm looking at now, wow, there's a lot to be picked up back here. I don't know if you could see this branch hanging down right here. That cracked. That cracked off a tree, I don't know which tree, in late fall, early winter. I actually heard the crack from the kitchen window. Yeah, it was a real, st I remember that night, it was really stormy and I heard a loud cracking of a tree and yeah it uh it broke off some tree I don't know where I don't know if it doesn't look like it would be this tree might be one of these but I don't see a fresh break in the tree oh maybe over there I don't, that looks like it was sawed though so yeah lots of branches on the ground all over that, that smells like firewood to me. <laughs> so, these trees actually belong to the neighbor to the west of us here. Uh, our property line is just right over here. And uh, so, yeah, when we moved in, for those of you that are newer, these trees right here were my height, and I'm 5'6. So they are way up here now. <laughs> but you can see everything coming to life now. Starting little by little because it's been such a mild winter. And this is our pine tree. Goes way up there. When we moved in that was so much shorter. <laughs> but about three, two, three years ago I gave it a trim on the bottom. Cut some branches off. 
uh, that were touching the ground and just hanging over touching the ground so while it's still at this time you see all the dead needles what I did here years ago um, it would dry out a lot of times so my grass clippings I actually just put around all around the tree and this tree stayed so green for years after that uh, but it doesn't really get a lot of pine cones on it I don't know much about trees but yeah so lots of cutting to do today um, our neighbor over here collects a lot of wood for his he has like a wood furnace in his basement and he always collects wood but Glenn told me because we got to cut down a tree over there against the fence uh, Glenn said I should ask him if he wants the wood from that tree if he wants to cut it down he can have all the wood from it so we'll see we'll see but all this is one two three neighbors to that side of us so beautiful beautiful area this is now when I uh, take you guys on a drive to the food pantry and you see all the houses and stores this is actually at the edge of town at the edge of our city limits where it goes into town limits so it's more country over here and honestly if we had to stay in this place the rest of our lives we wouldn't live anywhere else but on this side of town it's so beautiful and summertime as you know uh, all you uh, folks that have been following me for a while uh, for the new folks our, the back of our garage has a one car door that rolls up and I sit there in the summertime and watch the birds and the wildlife back here so yeah it's we call this our little piece of heaven we never thought we would have something like this and we've bought it I think it's going to be 12 years that we've been living here and you'll never the price we got this for you'll never see that price on a house like this again or property more so the house the property <laughs> this is going to sell for the lot and that garage not so much for the house but the garage and the house or the garage and the lot the backyard here so all right so let's get at least one thing done well I'm gonna get at least one thing done and uh, that way I can at least feel good about getting something done today and if I come out every day at least at least once a day to get just a little bit done doesn't have to be an all-day work and Glenn always told me if you go out for an hour just do some work for an hour you got that much more done and you know things get done that way and he's right so today it's like 60 something degrees it's a little breezy but it's nice out so I'm gonna cut this tree down actually I think I'm gonna get the tripod from the garage so I can put you on the tripod right now I have you on the chest harness all right this is I'm gonna cut this down <laughs> I can't see where I'm pointing in the camera <laughs> all right so let's see if uh, I can get you on the tripod and uh, we'll get this cut down all right so I'm just gonna start off cutting all these small branches off so I can get to the bigger branch
I need to get some gloves too. The gloves I've been using I've had for like five years and they're garden gloves from Menards and they got holes in them. So if you know a good pair of working gloves, outside working gloves, drop it down in the comments. I need to pick some up. I'm just going to throw the branches over there for now. These ones that are sticking out are from that other shelf. I'm just going to cut them where they're at right now so I can uh, work on this tree right here. Tis the time the ticks are coming out, so Glenn already told me to watch out for ticks. Oh, this one just broke off. I'm going to put the camera back a little bit more so I have a little more working room. this tree about right here uh, maybe right here <laughs> actually I'm going to cut it right here where it V's off If I just get this tree cut down, it's something I got done today outside. I don't have my safety goggles on, so I'm going to put my head down. It's all that flying wood. <laughs> this works out my arms. down there and pulled out of the ground. I don't know if I'm going to get that far, but a little bit is better than nothing. So, sorry, the sun's in my eyes. <laughs> um, I got the tree cut down. 
to the almost to the bottom to the stump uh, I had to go in and do something for Glenn and then I got a drink because I was so thirsty <laughs> but uh, I gotta go in now but I did accomplish something and that's all my goal was accomplish at least one thing while I'm out here it feels like a meeting would <laughs> So I'll show you what I did and then I'm going to head in because I got to put uh, El Pato sauce and some onions inside the roast to cook for the rest of the time. And uh, so yeah. And then now that I did something outside, now I can feel better about doing some crafting. <laughs> um, finishing up Gypsy's thing. But yeah, we just ate this morning. We ate our bagels. I had a cappuccino and then I vacuumed the house. Yeah, I could back in the whole house <laughs> at once so uh, I'm glad for that so yeah I wouldn't want our house to be any bigger it's uh, 900 and something square feet and it's too big for me so <laughs> but yeah I'll show you what I did and I'm gonna head in the house and uh, we'll see you in a bit all right so you can see I got it cut down that low and when I come out next time, I'm going to see if I can get the shovel and dig in. Because the dirt is really soft. So I'm going to see if I can dig in and maybe get that root out of there. So that's my next goal. Alright, so for now, I'm going to go ahead in. But I got one thing accomplished and that's, my, that's what my goal was. So I'm heading in now. All right, everyone, so here is the roast after four, four hours and 45 minutes. It's still got a bit to cook. Um, I just turned it around and just cut up an onion. Going to throw onions in there and uh, El Pato sauce. Yeah, I came in, took Gypsy outside so she can do her business. And then now I'm doing this. I think I'm going to take a shower next. But... This is going to taste mighty good. When I open the lid on this, oh, it smells so good. Actually, you can uh, smell it when I walk in the house. Even Glenn said he could smell it from the bedroom. Smells good. Can't wait to have burritos tonight. But I think what my goal is, is to get the tools we need so I can do that stuff quickly and properly. Uh, like with the electric drill or a gas drill or whatever battery powered dr not drill a uh, saw one of those handheld saws or something and then get an extension because I have a lot of high branches I need to cut as well oh, so many things you need to upkeep the property all right let me add the El Pato sauce now and I'm using the green can All right, we're just gonna cover that back up. Uh, just wipe the fluid from around there so it doesn't bubble. And put it back. All right, there we go. Oh, just to show you the Easter thing, this Easter uh, sign I got at the Dollar Tree, I decided to put right there. And this might stay as it is. But, yeah. Okay, that's it for now. I think I'm going to take a shower and then go in the crafting room and get some stuff done on Gypsy's uh, um, wall thing. I've already printed out the, the stickers for the board. All right, so moving on with the day. All right, everyone. So it's almost time to eat supper. And uh, what we have for condiments, uh, we've got some sour cream right here. <laughs> I just made uh, guacamole from one avocado. I cut up some lettuce, tomato. We got our shredded cheese. I made some salsa for Glenn, which is just one can. Uh, I already put it in the recycle can. Uh, one yellow can of El Pato sauce, uh, some onion chopped up, and half a can of Rotel tomatoes. I only made a one can batch. If I made a bigger batch, I would have used the whole can of Rotel, so, and then uh, one lime. So, I'll get another can of El Pato sauce to show you what I use for all the newcomers. So, just a minute. 
All right, so this is what I use, the yellow El Pato sauce for his salsa. This is the hot one. And normally I make them a bigger batch, a two can salsa, but just this time I just made a one can salsa. And that's why I use only half the can of Rotel tomatoes. Okay, so that's all that is. My guacamole, the avocado, a uh, tiny bit of water. I squeeze some lime juice in it because that keeps the uh, color green so it doesn't brown. A little bit of salt to taste and that's it. Pretty simple. Alright, so I may have to cut up the the meat in smaller pieces because it's that long stringy kind of thing. <laughs> so I might have to chop some up. Alright, so I'm going to check the meat, see where we're at. And see if we're ready to start making some of these uh, burritos. All right, I'm making Glenn's right now. He doesn't like a lot of cheese. I did warm up the tortilla. I went ahead and uh, basically shredded all the meat so I wouldn't have to come back to do it anymore. And then I put it back into the juice in the slow cooker. Alright. And then he also likes meat on top. Put some salsa in there. Alright, he's going to take the lettuce and tomato on the side and put some sour cream from the side. I didn't even get a spoon for the tomatoes. <laughs> I'll put these over here. And then he'll just put sour cream. I'm going to put it on the side, but he's going to cover his lettuce and tomato. Kind of like in a restaurant when you get lettuce and tomato on the side and then you get sour cream. And then I'll just put a little bit of guacamole there. He doesn't really like guacamole a whole lot, which is good for me. <laughs> All right. I'll be back with mine. All right. Here's mine. This is going to end the video. I hope you enjoyed this uh, day in the life video. Uh, as spring comes along, there will be more outside time. So you have that to look forward to. And I'm just going to make my burrito and sit down and eat. I took my shower, feel much better. But I could sure feel it in the arms. So that's the first <laughs> workout I've had in a while. All right. Everything is going inside mine. Uh, first, I'm going to squeeze my lime juice in there. Oh, yeah. A little bit of sour cream. A little bit of guacamole. Might as well finish it off. I just made one avocado. Some lettuce and tomato all right guys I hope you enjoyed the video like I said thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my videos I really appreciate all the support you give in my channel and with that remember to live life be good to yourself and be good to others until next time <laughs>